Acapose multi drives is what B and R calls a motion subsystem. The reason being. The Acapos multi drives are better able to operate a standard AC motor in an improved closed loop setup. And it is far better than the traditionally used VFDs in industrial setup. This motion subsystem features translates into much greater positioning, accuracy, and improved throughput. The Acapo multi module is a drive system developed by B&R Industries to power up electric motors and they are in modular form which means it can easily be replaced during maintenance activities. The Acapo power module is powered by 415 alternating voltage but before the power is connected to the power module drives the incoming power will be connected to an electronic device known as line filter. This filter is used to protect the drive against line interference fluctuations and harmonics. And as such, the drive will be supplied with a steady power supply. The power modules will convert the inputted 415 AC voltage to 305 DC voltage, another 305 DC voltage, 605 DC voltage, and 24 DC voltage respectively. The converted voltage will be feed to the bus bar. The bus bar will be used to power the other modular inverter or the safe motion drives on the rack. A semiconductor device known as insulated gate bipolar transistor, or as IGBT. This semiconductor's devices are key components of the Acapose multi module inverter subsystem. This electronic device are responsible for the power output of this multi module. With the help of pulse width modulated signals, they generate an output voltage regulated in amplitude, frequency, and phase. The first circuit in the Acapose multi subsystem is the power module, follows by the bus bar, and finally the safe motion modules. The power modules convert the incoming 415 alternating currents to DC through the use of diodes and some other electronic components. After conversion, the converted voltage will be fed to the bus bar. From the bus bar, the safe motion drives will be powered. The safe motion drives convert the DC volts to alternating volts. This is achieved through the use of IGBT transistors. After it has been converted, the converted volts will finally fed to the motors. Again, the safe motions drives comes in different variant. Some will convert to DC, because some motion drives are also used to power DC brushless motor. Thus, special care must be taken when replacing the drives. Attention should be placed on the name plates during replacements. Warning. During maintenance activities, it is necessary for certain parts of the drives to carry dangerous voltage levels of over 60 DC volts, or 42 AC volts. Touching the terminals of the Acapo can result in a life-threatening electric shock and it can also lead to death, severe injury, or damage to property. To be on the safer side, always wait for a minimum of 20 minutes before handling. That way, the power capacitor would have fully been discharged completely. Now let look at what the safe motion entails. The safe motion drives come with highly accurate encoder interfaces for resolvers, this interface are NDAT 2.1 and NDAT 2.2. This interface play a significant role in the excellent of the entire control network. Because the motor position can be gotten in real time, this real time position transfer is aided through the encoder. The signal coming from the encoder is terminated to the NDAT slot. And such, 
the motor will quickly ramp up to its rated speed quickly. The parameter memory in NDAT encoders is used by B&R to store information such as motor data etc. In this way, the Acapos multi-inverters are always automatically provided with the correct motor parameters and limit values. In my previous video, we discussed the B&R system. If you want to learn more, kindly click the link in the description above. During startup, when the servo motor rotates, the embedded encoder also rotates along with the servo motor. The positioning data generated as the encoder is fed to safe motion drives through the NDAT PCI card. Now let's look at the features that comes with the Acapose Multi subsystem. Power factor correction. Conventional drive systems convert only half of the applied power from the mains into actual mechanical power. This means that only the effective power is taken from the power supply and it subsequently reduces the connected load. The current consumption of the machine is reduced by approximately a factor of two. This effect will result to smaller fuses and less wire cross-section area. Stable voltage conditions. Even if there is fluctuation at the input of the power module, that is when the line filter fails, the DC bus voltage will remain constant regardless of the mains supply voltage. Hence, maximum utilization will be achieved from both the inverter modules and the connected motors. Integrated power regeneration unit. All HPVP active power supply modules are able to regenerate power. Instead of the heat generated during braking action to be converted to heat. Which is usually the case. Kinetic or heat energy generated by the braking resistor will be converted to electrical energy. Handling power failures safely. These days production machines are gradual relying on flexibility. That is, mechanical cams are being replaced by electronic cam profiles. And as such, the system is where free electronics, but reverse is the case in electrical setup. But electrical also has its own disadvantage. Loss of the cam profile linking when a power failure occurs. The encoder values are not recognized but the electric motor is still spinning, but with the Acapos multi-drive system. There are advantages. The Acapo will continue to supply 24 volts through its integrated auxiliary supply module. This makes it possible to maintain a coordinated movement until the system reaches a standstill. Now, let's do a recap on Acapo's multi-subsystem. We start up with the Acapo power module. We look at the power supply flow. The importance of line filter was discussed. From there we look at the internal component that made up the subsystem. Also, the NDAT PCI card interface was discussed. How the encoder data are transferred to the Acapo multi-module. From the Acapo subsystem, we look at the multi-module's unique features. This includes the power factor correction phase, power consumption, working voltage rating, etc. Finally, we cap it off by looking at how to handle and carried maintenance activities safely without risk to human and properties. Hope you have learned something today. Please feel free to leave a comment in the comments section if there are areas you are in doubt. And most importantly, hit the subscribe button. That way, you won't miss out on our new release.